So I'm making this video because I bought this monitor here, 29 UM57 from uh, LG, which is a hell of a monitor. But I had a lot of trouble connecting, getting it to work with my MacBook Air 2015. And I, I just realized that a lot of the latest Mac models don't have high resolution. So I struggled in the forums and, you know, things out there to get it to work, buying cables and all these kinds of things. Nothing could save it because my Mac did not, um, did not support the resolution that the monitor had. So, which is something I'm going to show you in a second. So this is the resolution of the monitor, right? So what I've done was that I found out that these guys here, Switch Res X guys, they actually have a piece of software that you install in your computer and then they, they allow you to use a resolution that's, that's not native to your computer. So after you actually go to the website and install the thing and everything, so here's how you do it, right? So you actually get the application to, to be running, the software, so you go to preferences. Now, if you try to see here in the monitor, which is this one here, if, it, if you try to find one of the default resolutions, it's not going to be there. In my case, it wasn't. Maybe the future versions, it's going to be there. Now, in my case, it wasn't. So it's this one here that I'm using, but it wasn't there. Now, what I have to do is that I had to create a new resolution. So I come here, right? Now, here you have, you have a shit lot of things. Now, I go straight to my monitor. And now, in display information, I actually tick these two boxes here. After that, I go to custom resolutions, and then this is not going to be here, this is mine. So I click here to create another one, right? And I select custom resolution, because I'm going to create something from scratch. You want to tick this box here, which is use simplified settings, and you want to select CVTRB. I do not know what that means, but I've been recommended to do that, and that's what I've done, it actually works. So I suggest you do the same. Uh, then what you do is that you add the, this, the resolution of the screen you want. I actually type this in, and then this is going to come automatically up. All right, so after that happens, don't mess up with anything else, just go OK. I'm not going to click OK because I have already done this, so click OK. Now, when you come here, the state is going to say no, not saved. So what you want to do then is that you want to close this thing. Now, as you close, it automatically saves. Now, I'm just going to go back there. After you save, and if you come back here, you can click here and then go to custom resolutions again. And then it's going to say something like needs to reboot or needs rebooting, something like that. So all you do is that you come to your Apple here and then you go restart. So you restart the computer as you do normally. Now, after you actually come back from the restart process, what you want to do is that you want to come to system preferences, go to displays, all right? And as you click here, um, in, in scaled, the resolution that you want is going to be there. So it's beautiful, it is fantastic, I'm very happy about it because I can finally use my, my monitor as it's meant to be. So thank you very much Switch ResX guys, I really appreciate your work and that's why I was so happy that I actually came up to make this video to make sure that if you are using the same monitor that I have. If you have you if you're having the same problem, then you found the solution. Thank you. Bye bye.